transaction and assess the marketplace. What's up, you guys? It's Jeff Adventure. I am super excited to bring you this new live stream. Uh, so in today's live stream is just going to be straightforward to the point, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys the challenge that we have been on. And, and as, of course, also, I'm also going to be bringing to you the signal provider from last week. Okay, I'm sure you guys are super pumped as much as I'm super pumped making these videos for you. And if you do, please kindly smash the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed. And meanwhile, if you're subscribed, make sure you smash the like button so that this video can be referred to most people that probably would need it in order for them to better up their trading journey. Okay, so uh, you already know that I'm, I'm in a challenge, trading $21,000 account to $50,000 be, uh, before July runs out. So obviously today is 1st of August and July ended yesterday. So I was able to move the account to, I made a withdrawal when I traded the account to about 29,000 and some fractions. I made a withdrawal of $9,000. Now that account is, I reset back to 20,000, but something happened on Friday. I made a huge loss, $7,000. So that is set from $22,000. I made a $7,000 loss. That is said, I come back to 25, uh, sorry, 15,000. And then I was able to make it back to 19,400. I just said 20,000. That's a break even. So I'm still going to be trading on that account still this week. And I'm also going to be showing you guys uh, the progress so far. So good. So if you guys stick to the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys the progress. So make sure you stick around. And what's really important is not about I'm just just trading it and making money now is that i also carry my team all along like people who are on telegram who are on my whatsapp who are on instagram so if you want to be a part of any of this on my platform telegram and instagram is obviously it's for free so you can always follow me on my telegram channel i drop the signals there back to back it's the exact same signal that i take on my on my on my account that's the exact same signal i'm dropping for those who are my telegram channel so do well to follow me on telegram channel and please there are scammers out there trying to rip people off their money or trying to use my face or try to claim that they are my assistant just please kindly know that i don't have any of those people the rule of thumb is if there's anyone claim to be jeffrey benson asking for money just know that that's not me and just stay clear from them and report such account so my official accounts are linked in the description box and i'm also going to be pinning into the comment section All right so thank you guys so i'm in lagos nigeria so i would love to know where you guys are joining us from since that's our tradition so i can already see a lot of people really super excited telling us where they are coming in from, where they're joining in from so before now i saw someone who said who was from worry okay that's from pakimi he says from worry and i also have someone who's from enugu that's from nigeria and we have more people in the comment section he said he's from chad nice to have you sapiens nice to have you delta accra abuja i mean these are their youtube names it might not be a formulated name. it might not be their real names but I mean, I still respect that you guys are joining us all over the world. So we have people from Ghana, from Kano, from Uganda, from Aquaibom, I came from Lagos, Nigeria. We have a um, brother from United States. Uh, this is Alion Samo from the Cameroon uh, Democrat, Democratic Republic of Congo. I saw that DRC. Because the, the, the list are really coming in really fast. So before I could click on it, it's already changing. So. I'm sorry if I'm not being able to bring out, I mentioned your name, but I'm not being able to show it on the screen because there are a lot of people right here, okay? So, let's have you guys from Tanzania, Nairobi, Cameroon, and the list keep going, Abuja from the UK. This is Beyond Bay and Kubiku. Okay, you guys are all welcome. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Russia, South, Saratov. Okay, you're welcome. And Grenada. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> Okay, amazing. So, uh, in today we have one of my students. What I always love to do every Monday is to bring at least one or two of my students to come on live to share their experience, the trades that they took last week. Because these students I always bring on live here are the signal provider in the mentorship. All right. So if you want to be part of the mentorship, all you just have to do is just head straight to our website, which is firepipsfx.com. So I'm going to be putting that in your screen right now. So you'll be able to do, uh, click on the link. And you could also, if you are seeing that, seeing this on a later date, so you please kindly make sure you check the links that are in the description box and the one that is in the comment section. So you can use that to, to easily access the website, okay? So that's the link right here on your website on this one. So I'm, I have the honor to introduce one of my mentees to explain the trade C2. And unfortunately, I don't think he'll be able to be on his laptop today. For some reason, he's having some complications. So, how are you doing? I'm fine, sir. I mean, so you are live. You want to tell us, yeah, you want to tell us your name and where you're joining us from? Okay. Um. Good day, everyone. Um. My name is Victor. Victor. Victor Bonaya. 
So I'm joining you guys from Ebony State. I'm currently at Ebony State. Okay, amazing, Victor. So yeah. you want to go on and introduce yourself, run through when when you join our mentorship, uh, you trace you to last week, what informed your decision, uh, where we are currently at and what we should be looking at for you. Then lastly, you should share us your 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 Instagram or your anywhere you want us to connect with you. All right? Um, okay, so um, I joined the mentorship last two months, I guess. Yeah, I think this was last two months I joined the mentorship and um, I've been able to pass the free trial on the FTMO, which was, you know, the the challenge you need to pass in order to get promoted to fire pit. So I've been able to pass the FTMO free trial and currently I'm trading a 5K FTMO account. I'm currently on a challenge on 5K FTMO account. So, I mean, Fuck it, my first phone account, rather. Yeah. Yeah, it's my first phone, rather. So, um, I'm unfortunately I can't share my screen because I'm not on my PC right now. But um, I can I can walk you guys through the through the like the what I learned through last week. Okay, please go ahead. Okay. So, last week, <laughs> last week was quite funny, but um, we we made losses and um, we also. We actually, I, I couldn't make enough profit to cover up my losses last week. Oh. So, um, so last week, um, first of first what of happened? all, I learned some. Um, Friday was really a good day. Friday was a, a yeah. Fr Thursday, Friday was a recovery day for us. Or what happened? Is it that you didn't have enough losses? <laughs> I, 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 unfortunately, um, the thing is that even on Tuesday, on Tuesday yeah. when it was Thursday or Friday, I actually didn't have a losing trade. Okay. Okay, so what happened? So you're trying to recover your previous losses you had in previous weeks. Is that what you're trying to do? Oh, the network is trying, trying to play us dirty right now. Can you hear us? Yeah. All right, I've, so, so what happened? Oh, please, network, don't do this to us. All right, so the network is quite uh, sluggish there on his part. So I will just, I, I hope he work on the network and he'll get back to us. So I'm still trying to keep track of him. I also try to get in contact with him so that he can make sure he fix up, fixes up his network then he join us. So what happened last week was really a very, last week, trust me, was less record an adventurous week for me and for the team. Uh, the only time that we made losses was, that was last week, Friday, last, last week Friday. So last week was back to back wins. So on my end, back to back wins, and we also uh, the win. Okay, uh, and on on the long run, I was just trying to make back the the losses that I made at some point because I, I had to start being very conservative. Now here's one rule, rule of thumb for me: each time I make a very huge loss or I make a loss, my next trade I'll, I'll approach it conservatively. So I'll, my thinking process is I want to be able to recover from that loss that I've made. Okay. I want to be able to recover from these losses I've made. And then once I've made pro uh, profit on top of, after the losses, then I make profit from my threshold, then I double down on the profit that I've made. I use, I risk the profit that I've made. So that would enable me to want like 10X, okay, my account. So that's what happened last week. So last week I started with $15,000 and so then I ended with close to $20,000. So that's let's say like 5,000 out of, that's no profit at all because it's just like average. So I was just trying to like meet up to meet up with what I've already said for myself because I, I'm, I'm, I'm trading this account from $20,000 to $50,000, which is still a plan. And I already made a withdrawal of $9,000. So I'm only left to it. How, how much, how much, how much? I'm only left to like, let's say $20,000 to just hit the mark, $20,000. So with $20,000, I should hit it. And I'm sure that should happen this week. I'm very confident about that. All right. So he, let me just have him come on board. Victor, are you there? Victor, can we have you now? Can you hear us? Victor. Ah, okay, so the network is still trying to do some, uh, can you give us your IG handle because people are requesting for it. Someone just requested for it, your IG handle. Uh, can, you, can you help us with your IG? 
So I just hope you listen to this, this part. We are requesting for your IG, and then people want to see that. So without further ado, let me share my screen. I know most people really want to see what's really going on in here. Uh, my screen, what I'm looking out for. So on my screen, you all can see. Then again, I'm not going to be facing camera directly. That's because I'm sharing from a different screen, and this is where my camera is at. OK, so it's on GBPUSD. Let me just recap my last week straight. So the reason why it's really important for me to recap my last week straight is so that if you guys see the same pattern happening this week, you know how to approach it. So the first trade I took was on Tuesday, it happened on Tuesday, and this happens to be the trade right here. So this is where Monday started, okay? And this was the trade that started on, on Tuesday. So Tuesday, we found a short entry at this point. So what were the conferences that made us want to go short at this point? Now, pay attention to this, most especially for those who are on phone. So that's the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to zoom in so you can see clearly from your smartphone, okay? Uh, we saw an M pattern. Trust me, whenever I tell you guys that pattern is almost everything for me. Each time I see a pattern, like, to me, this was like a, a double top. So this is a top right here, and this was a top right here too. So immediately I knew that there was an action going to happen here. So in, most especially when I saw this strong bearish candle happen. So after that strong bearish candle happened, then I wait for a pullback, almost like 50% of the body of the candle. But then that's when I got in. So you guys can confirm the signal. For those who were in the Telegram channel uh, during the course of last week, you guys will confirm this, uh, this, this signal. So immediately we went in short at this point and we made crazy profit. Now, what was my stop? What was my stop loss? So immediately I saw this candle behaving this way. Uh, I just I hopped out so early. So this is somewhere around here. That's where I hopped out. And my stop loss was a little bit below this recent high at this point. So that means I was just risking somewhere about around like 20 pips or so. And I was risking this small to catch this huge. I think like 20 pips, 17 to 20 pips, somewhere around here. I hopped in right here. And trust me, there was zero to no drawdown at all. Uh, so from here, price started dropping. Okay. So that's why I saw the then that was just the only trade I took on Tuesday. So we waited, and Wednesday was the huge, big blow that happened to us all because I was anticipating for a, a buy trade to happen right here. And that buy trade took a longer time for it to play out. So I probably hopped in here during the uh, London session. So this happened about 7.45 a.m. GMT plus one, which is my time, Nigerian time, same as London. So uh, this trade kept on playing. I was in profit of, of close to about 5,000. But this day, I was... My take profit was somewhere around 1.21500. That was where my take profit was at. But however, my stop loss was somewhere around this low. Okay. So what happened was we got swapped out. So my stop loss got swapped out before price started heading for the profit. Oh, it was a long trade. Let me change this one to somewhere like here. So we got swapped out somewhere around here. Yeah, you see, it was immediately my stop loss gets swept out that I started moving up. So you can't always, uh, my take profit was here because I was aiming to get $30,000 off this trade. Okay, but I got swept out for $7,000. That's what happened. So that's where I commented in the group that if you guys had know the return, the profit to return, if I had held for this news, I think this news that happened at, around this time was, I think it was FOMC. Can someone just remind me? Yes, yeah, someone just said that the signals were amazing. Thank you for acknowledging that because... I know Francis MEZ. I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm so. I appreciate the fact that you guys always follow through with the signals. You're always following through, following through, following through, and you guys saw what happened. That I'm not just here to tell you what I didn't do. So the exact thing before and after trades play out. Now this were exactly what I did. Okay. So I got hit right here about seven thousand dollar. But if, I, if it had gone in my favor right here, yeah, I'd have made about thirty thousand dollars. I mean, trading is all about risk to reward. It's all about what you target and what you set risk because. Without risking, there's nothing, there's nothing you would make. So I made an Instagram post this morning, uh, still talking about this exact same thing. I said, cheers to the, cheers to the days that we almost lost everything, all, all in the name of risk, okay? So just in case you've not checked out my Instagram, you had better go check it out right now. So look at my Instagram here, because we, this is a post that I made talking about this exact same thing. I said, cheers to the days we almost lost everything we ever worked for, all in the name of taking risks. So I know you guys are probably in this space right now, some of you guys, might probably be in this space and and trust me we learn most times when things are going tough okay and i'm saying shout out to all the traders who are out there at their lowest right now and they don't even know what the next move is and trust me you get out pretty soon and it will be history and you will laugh over it someday best believe 
So that's just all my Instagram posts is always targeted towards traders who are really struggling right now, who don't even really know where to go right now because you're probably facing losses. So I'm not here to paint a win-win situation to you guys. It's not a win-win situation. There are times that we make big losses. There are times that we make massive wins. There are, time, there are times that we make crazy withdrawal. And there are times that we don't even go home with anything at all. So all these are just part of the whole process to, to make us and not to mouse. Okay. So you guys are just start getting used to uh, these processes. So in case you want to follow me on Instagram, I just showed you guys the link. The link is in the chat right now. So use that to follow me up on Instagram if you want to be a part of what's going on on my Instagram. So fast forward to our chat again. That's what happened on, that was exactly what happened on Wednesday. I mean, it was a loss that I already anticipated, but mm, it was, was it painful? Yes, it was painful because I would have actually made this much after this flash happened. I was really, really pained because it gave, to our, it made move uh, to our side more than how many peeps? Let me count the number of peeps. That was about 150 peeps, 170 to 150 peeps. And that's a crazy number of move on our end. But we still keep grinding. So what happened on Thursday? On Thursday, we had two crazy moves. And uh, this move brought the account back to a very good, uh, very good recovery point, okay? So when price got to this point, what were those things that informed my entries? Things that informed the entry were the trend line was coming from. This trend line that is at this top right here is a very strong trend line that has been coming for a very long time now. Permit me to go on the one hour chart. I'm moving from 15 to go on the one hour chart so I can trace where the trend line is coming from then you guys you know where we talk, what we're talking about so let me I, I don't think we can see it on one hour clearly let's go to the far so you can see the first touch right here second touch right here so this is an old it's been with us this trend line is an og for a long time we know what happens to trend lines that are og like this like trend line have been with us for so long they always whenever price touches them it always tank it always touches and come down that's where the real ta -ta 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 happens okay so when price touched here on, on Thursday, so the, the only thing that came to my head and the team head was, guys, position, positioning, 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 okay? So we, all we just had to do was to position so that price can start tanking from this point. Sorry, I had a call there. Sorry, guys. Um, so from here, and I also saw the M pattern. So the M pattern came in here. This is, okay like this i want to look at it this way this way and this way so like a double top first leg or it can even be triple tops you can look at it that way yeah triple top so whenever all this top happen like this you should know that yeah we are in for a long drop so that's what happened right there that was what happened and then i started shorting so immediately price got to somewhere around here i hopped out too so obviously you can say price got to somewhere here Sorry, excuse me. So sorry, yeah. So from here, price started dropping. Then this was where I got into, I got in somewhere around here. And um, price, I hopped out somewhere around here too. So it was a very tight stop loss to catch this move. It was really nice, but I didn't really stack too much because I was just trying to get out of my losses, just as I explained. So when price got back in here again, it was a nice entry for us to go short again. So. Price started tanking from here again, and then bang, we made profit off of that. And the sweetest one that happened was on Friday. So Friday, I had an entry right here. I didn't know why I, it's not marked out here. This was the entry that I had because I knew this was an overextension. Price supposed to start continue to the downside, but it's overextended right here. So immediately, price got to this point. What happened? I immediately went in for a short trade. <coughs> so I hopped out somewhere around here somewhere around here and then price just kept retraces a little and kept on tanking but i didn't get in on this buy so that's what happened so now that was what happened last week how do you best approach what's going to happen this week this is uh <laughs> how did you guys best uh, someone just said i should stop here and i should go eat <laughs> uh man man i've eaten like i've eaten i've eaten so it's not about that <laughs> i've been up since god knows when grinding so there's no nothing that'll make me to go sleep at this time when market is already market, market is not sleeping so i shouldn't be sleeping uh -huh. okay so look at it uh just give me a sec i'm about to show you what guys what i'm looking at for so i want you guys to really improve your trend line games 
it's not about the strategy. Let me let me clear something real quick. It's not just only about the strategy. I know some people they, they they beat themselves up. Oh, I really need to get the SMC. If I don't get to know how SMC work, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be profitable. Who told you that? Oh, I need to get the BTMM, be the market uh, makers uh, strategy. If I don't know how that work, I'm not gonna be very good at trading. I'm not gonna be profitable at trading. Who told you? Say, say who? Oh, oh, I need to get the which one? The one that they talk about uh, BOS, POS, all those crazy crazy things. I don't know, but I know there are, couple, there are quite a number of them. I didn't know how to do this. I didn't even know how to do that. Now you have to check with the successful traders our charts. Most times we just look out for the simplest things, the simplest things. That's what works. So what is really important is look out for the simplest things, things that you can best resonate with, things that you can that you can tweak, things that you can easily tweak. At the end of the day, that's what really matters. Okay, it's not getting the complex thing that someone else has already. Uh, uh, as developed you just have to find your truth yes you just have to find what works that's what i mean by the truth what worked for you because what worked for me might not be what worked for you so it's not about a matter of smc it's not about a matter of btmm all these strategies trust me now i'm not saying these things they don't work they do work okay they do work obviously but all i'm saying is it's not until you get a particular one you have to just find the one that best resonates with you okay so if you are feeling me guys just drop number one on the channel box right now if you know what i'm trying to say so even if it's a fib retracement, I know one of my guy who is killing with the fib retracement, that's Dr. Willis. Yes, he's killing with the fibs. Uh, I know my brother, my friend, Habi, who is like a brother to me right now, he's killing it with just uh, trends, market moving in, favor, in his favor. Then he see that it's moving in his favor. Then he gets in, he just enter about two or three entries. And me, of course, the ta -ta 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 strategy, whenever price comes to my zone, I watch out for candlesticks, uh, M pattern, which is M pattern, double top or double bottom, W. And I kill it. I enter stack. I stack ta, 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 just with one pair of PSD. So, and Kojo, you guys know him very well. He he's killing it with his own perfect strategy too. He's swinging now. He's doing day trading with his exact same knowledge of what candlesticks can give him. So the point is, he understands candlesticks. So if you understand how candles work, you'll be able to switch from whatever time frame to whatsoever any, any other time frame. All right. And so many other of my guys who are out there, they are just everywhere. Killing it. Let's see about doing the same thing. Ref Winnie, that's a real time good in the game. He's doing the same thing. And uh, how many? Q Banks, uh, Lamborghini, make sure them, the list keep going on. Okay. So you just have to find thing, one thing that works for you. All right. For me, I know that GBP USD work for me. So that's why you wouldn't see me analyzing gold. You wouldn't see me analyzing GBP card or USDJPY or analyzing NASDAQ, uh, analyzing US 30. Nothing, no, nothing of such. I'm not going to do any of that because why? break the system that's already working for you why stop it why is it are we here for competition no just here to make money okay in as much as i'm making crazy money you're making crazy money then we're fine i'm smiling you're smiling okay stuff like that okay so uh i just saw someone in the comment section do you have investment package mr ben no i don't have an investment package please don't be scammed scammers will want to approach you oh yeah i'm jeffrey benson you can invest 100 dollars with me you're going to get two thousand dollars in, in 24 hours that's not me obviously it doesn't make sense i'm not going to do that so I'm, I'm only addressing that because i know it's a concern i don't want to get to fall prey thinking i'm the one i'll never message you first asking for investment so kindly note that so back to the topic so you have to find the truth what works for you now here's a challenge my challenge to you my challenge to you um you have to go back after you end this life right now for those who are watching this on a later date once you stop watching this video right now i'm challenging you go back on your chart and find what exactly worked for you. In order for you to find what exactly worked for you, what strategy have you been using before? Does that strategy have a, a, an edge? Question everything. Question everything. Question everything. Like, what I mean by question everything? Okay, right now I'm using RSI. Do, would this RSI be relevant in time to come? Would this strategy that I'm using, will it be relevant in 10 years? Will it be relevant in five years? Or even if it's not relevant, will I be able to switch with what, uh, with the current market uh, status then? This are the things. So if it's not, you, you scrap it, you start with a new one again, okay? So these are the things that you have to start keep doing, keep doing. Do no matter what, your consistency will come running faster and faster approaching to you as much as you spend, is, is equivalent to the number of time you spend on your chart, okay? Equivalent to the number of time you spend on your chart. So we became who we are today. It's not because, oh, we are just posting a lot of stuff on Instagram or stuff like that. Now you have to make sure you even out all this noise and focus on your chart. Okay, it is the candles that print that make you to make money, not uh, the noise or the indicators you hear around, not the charting that you do any around. Is the candle. So focus on the candles, focus on the candlesticks. 
know what happens. What are the patterns that print that make this candle to reverse? What are the patterns that print that make this candle to continue? The continuation pattern. These are the things you have to start looking at for. All right. So without too much talk on that psychological part, I just want you guys to know sticking to one thing is what work. Let me take you back to the chart. Okay. So on the chart here, I am just going to be looking at for more of sales for this week. Why? Our, our, our chart already told us with this trend line, averagely trend line, we have three touches on trend line. This and that, and that secret I'm breaking out here like never before. With this trend line, you guys already know that each time trend line touches three times, okay, obviously it is supposed to break in the fourth touch, okay? But not until this third one works out fine. So let's take it back to the four-hour time frame. I want, to, I want to do a breakdown analysis so you guys can see where I'm coming from, okay? The angle I'm taking this thing, whole thing from. So we have first touch right here, correct? We have, um, here is the first touch, correct? Good. All right, no argument about that. I see that's pretty clear. Uh, this is a second touch right here too, okay? And here we've, we're having a third touch. So obviously we should have a drop right here. So that's why my bias for this week, obviously, is, is I'm looking to go short. Okay, but however, the chart is saying something uh, contrary to that. It, it, like our handle of the week strategy is saying something contrary to that, but trust me, I just keep an open mind in the hopes that if price keep moving in my direction, in the buy direction, I'll just change. I'll just change my, I'll just change my bias and then I'll start doing what the price is doing. Remember, that's the part of flexibility. You all remember there was one week, there was a week that I, I, I called a signal for a sell or some, for a buy, then immediately I changed. I said, no, it's not going to be, a, and be it's going to be, a, sorry, it's, it's going to be a sell, something like that. And it's so crazily because people changed and everyone made crazy money, okay? That's how to be flexible with the forex market. All I just did there was to look out for the chart pattern that was currently firming. So first we had a false breakout to the upside, but candlesticks changed. Now let me show you what I mean by what uh, that time, I think should be somewhere around, should be somewhere around here. Let me take it to the 15 minutes time frame because that's where I always stay. I spend most of my time on 15. Uh, trying to always catch the move early. So let's see. Let me see if, I, if I'll be able to remember the exact date that happened. Because I know I, I take account of almost everything. Yeah, it was here. This what happened. You see this kind of, you see this kind of stick behavior? So it's exactly at this point. Okay. So price at this point was trying to show like a bullish momentum. It gave us this bullish momentum. So all I had in my mind was, okay, this candle is crazily bullish. So the next one that should come should be a buy candle. So if it's what be, it was a buy candle that came in here, trust me, it would have been a buy move. But that didn't happen. Immediately we got rejected by this candle and we had a, a small, a slight retracement. This candle, this is our entry candle. It moved almost more than, or let's say 50, greater than or 50% move of the body of this bearish move. Immediately, we started helping on at this point. So you see my entry candle, this was my entry point. So I started getting in at this point and a lot of people, we all made profit from this move. So what happened, what helped us here was flexibility, okay? Because first we knew that it was a buy, okay? And then with this candle's behavior, can you see this kind of, pay attention to this kind of pattern. So that anytime you see any kind of pattern like this in the future, you will know how to react. You see, first we had a bearish move then immediately we had a bullish move that countered the whole of this bearish move. So this gives us a sense that, okay, the sellers are no longer winning this fight. I always look at it in form of fight, the candlesticks. It's always like a form of fight between the bulls and the bears. All right? So the sellers were no longer winning this fight. Then immediately the buyers came in and they started leading the fight. Okay? So the buyers did not only win the fight, but they won it, taking it up, all, all up to this point. But sellers pushed it down and it finally closed bearish, uh, sorry, bullish at this point. So immediately this got closed out, then this bearish candle popped up at this point, immediately started heading to the downside and it closed at this point. So what is that telling us? Okay, it's showing us that, fine, sellers are trying to get into the market from this point because this is slight retracement to the upside because the major move is supposed to sell. This is a slight retracement to the upside. The major move is a downtrend, okay? So when this bias pushed it up, sellers tried to take over here, but bias tried to move it up a little while from here, then, the best setting finally. So immediately from this point on this psychological level, I started sus suspecting when price started getting to 1.2000. But that's a cycle level, of course, obviously. So from that point, I started suspecting that, oh, this level likelihood, because that's my point of decision. It could either be a buy move from that level, or it could be a sell move. So just pay attention to this. Let me circle it. So you can just take a screenshot and watch this video over and over again and you know what I'm talking about. 
that's the move. So when I saw this kind of behavior right here, all of these things, then I knew, yeah, it's about time. Something is about to happen right here. So once this happened, then I downloaded the dollar that was meant for me for that day. Okay, so I also sent the signal out in our Telegram channel. So you guys make sure you are plugged in in the Telegram channel too, and also my, my Instagram story. So if you're following my Instagram, uh, you also know you're not going to miss out too. I also send it, I share it everywhere. So now what should we be expecting? I'm going to be expecting more sales for this week and also be keeping an open mind. Why did I expect more sales? Because obviously this bad that we're calling in, for our time frame, it's obviously a downtrend. Hmm? But what one high is letting us know is, oh, right now we're in an uptrend. So what happens when the higher time frame is saying something different from what the current time frame is saying? What do you follow? Obviously, you're going to follow what the higher time frame is saying. Okay, it's just like uh, in, 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 in like in our government system, you follow the federal, you obey the federal over the state. That does not mean the two of them they are not powerful, but one supersedes one. Okay, one has to override. Okay, so like the four her in this time frame is what overrides the one half. But one half is only a reflection of what four her is going to do in no time. On the line, one hour is a real reflection of what four hour is going to do. Four hour is a real reflection of what the weekly or the daily time frame is going to do. Why 15 minutes is just our entry time frame. So this are that's how it just revolves. Okay. So with that said, I, I, I want to consider this move that have happened to this upside as a fake move, as a fake out. So that's how I want to look at it for now on Monday, since today is just Monday. But obviously, I'm not going to be trading today. I'm sure the real OGs who have been following me from the one, they know that. Uh, Jeffrey Bernstein and Jeffrey Bernstein and the fire people and the ta 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 gang, they don't trade today. You don't trade today. Today is just for citing the move. We are studying what's going to happen. So do not be surprised that this my bias might change tomorrow. Okay? Do not be surprised that this bias that I'm having, like, like right now, I'm having a sale bias. So if I was to be on this trade right now, yeah, I would have gotten in right at this point. Why? This is considered as a psychological level, which is 1.22500. I would have gotten in right here at this point, for a short, obviously. For a short, um, I'll be looking to go short at this point. Okay, maybe somewhere around here. Then my stop loss is going to be tight, like somewhere around the, this recent high. Okay, then I'll be catching this. I'll be risking this much, 14 pips, to catch this much, 51 pips. I mean, that's a good risk to reward. All right, so that's what I'll be doing. And even if you're asking right now, is it a very good point to get in, Jeff? Can I still get in for yourself? Yeah, I would say yes. But am I trading it? No, I'm not trading it. All right. Uh, that's it. Those are the things that I just want you guys to know about discipline. It's not about whether or not you're catching. I've noticed that each time I trade on Monday, because market is just waking up, things are pretty slow. I do better when things are fast. So this is about knowing the truth, knowing your truth. Okay. I, I do better when market is fast. Everything is moving fast and very volatile. That's when I do better. So if I'm trading when it's slow this way, I will lose my money. So that's why we always say Forex is way more than strategy. Strategy is just 10%. What really, what really matter is your risk management game, the game that how well you can play your game, how well you can place uh, your psychology, how well you can place your trade management game and all of this. And that's what really matter in the long run. Okay. So you have to put all these things into consideration before finding your own truth. And I really want to lay, I want to, really want to endeavor that you guys first understand how easy patterns, easy patterns in the forex market, whatever pattern you're trading, make sure you look out for charts, pattern W and M. W's and M that double top, double top and double bottom. Okay. Okay. Whenever price gets to a previous high it got to before, just know that there will likely be a reaction. If you go to a previous low that you got to before, just know that there will likely gonna be a reaction. So these are the points you should be waiting for price. Okay. These are the points you should be waiting, waiting for price. So don't start chasing for what's missing. Okay. Stop looking for what you already have. You've got eyes already. So you, you've got to open that eyes and start looking at your chart. Stop looking at, oh, I'm looking for. Uh, this strategy, I'm looking for that strategy. I'm looking for if I don't get a strategy, I'm never going to be successful. No, that's not how it works. You have to start looking out for exact thing that will, things that really matter in the forex market, things that matters like the chart patterns, risk management, the money management skills, your your psychology. You have to not be emotional. How to sit on the hand when all your confidences are not met. How not to trade when how not to trade uh, when market is not really volatile. Like trading is more about. Your personality some people love it cold that's why you see them they trade asian session for me i can't trade asian session because i'm not going to do well because asian sessions are always very slow sluggish and all of that that does not mean i can't learn to trade asian session but i mean why try to force it when it's not just my personality when i already have my personality that i can make enough money and just relax and chill off okay i mean you can learn any session just know that 
And uh, I know some of you are, are currently here now. Some some of you might be a day jobber, like you're doing a nine to five, and you're like, oh, Jeff, I can't really meet up with London session, no New York session, because that's my work time. How can I learn and master Asian session? Yes, you can. Now, here's how to ma master a particular session. If you've got Asian session, you want to ma master Asian session or a Tokyo session, that's when you're probably so active. Number one, look out for the pair that move most in those time frames, in those sessions. Okay. For example, pair that will likely move where are those pair that currencies are related to Asia, like uh, JPYs, okay, JPY, and if you're in Sydney, Aussie, Aussie pair, Australian, Australian dollar, Australian NZD, Australian card, Australian JPY. These are the things that will likely move when those sessions, okay. Uh, you start looking out for them, okay. And you look at the patterns that work well. So you have to make sure you backtest, backtest like never before. Go back, back test, go on back on your trading view. Subscribe for trading view premium package. I think it's just 14 bucks. I think so, yeah. It's 14 bucks or 10 bucks. I mean, it's just equivalent to the same amount you, you subscribe for your Netflix. So subscribe, sacrifice your Netflix for your trading view this, this month. So that would give you more value so that you can do a replay, take it back, do a replay of what has been happening back to back on your chart. Find out the pattern that work well on that chart that you want to be addicted to. Okay, and that point I want to talk about, be addicted to your chart. Yes, literally be addicted. Whenever you pick up your chart, disable your social media, disable your Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and all these things, things that will disturb your mind, disable them. Okay, start focusing on um, your charts. Start going back to, um, let's say like three years. Like you guys will not have idea of how many times I've backtested my chart. So each time I call a move, it happens out. Uh, it happens. Don't you guys think it's, it's a lock? It's not a lock. That's how number of power that we've put in. Okay, number of time I've put in now. Putting her doing what? What exactly when you're putting the how? What exactly are you doing? Is it just putting her looking at your child this way? No. You have to start looking at the right things, looking out for the right things. Looking out for the right things. Right things such as the chart pattern that works well with that particular pattern. Like if you have been trading gold for a very long while, you know that gold works a lot with break time break and retest break and retest it breaks retest and then bang ta -ta 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 -ta, it start moving to one direction and it can train gold is a particular pair that can trend a lot and it's also a pair that can move sideways a lot if you want to be crazy it's just be moving sideways and to be flashing well to move to the bear uh, to the bullish side move bearish move bullish there that's years that you can put into study how exactly is this thing moving what's making it to move this way okay What's making it to move this way? What's it making it not to move that way? All right. So you also have to do all of these things. So once you're able to figure all these things out, trust me, pick up an FTMO free trial or Trader Central phone account, which is the sponsor of, the, of these videos. Obviously, they are sponsoring this video, and you can also check any proprietary firm, but Trader Central phone most recommended. That's what I'm recommending. So use them, check it out, test your knowledge because it's nothing. It's studying would not be tested. Your, what you study or what you have practiced so far, what is back testing needs to be tested. Okay, that's why you need these prop firms, or that's why you need a demo account or prop firm most likely. So that there's money on the line, you are putting money, but not too much money. But you are putting money, there's emotion attached to that particular money you'll be trading at that particular time. All right, um, so these are the things that you have to start doing. Test it, then if you fail, go back to drain board. That's not the end. You know how many accounts I've blown. In my lifetime, I've, I've wasted a lot of money trying this. But right now, everything is paying off, okay? But I just want you guys to know that there are a lot of work that we've put in at the back end. Uh, it's not just, oh, it's not an easy, 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 peasy thing. It's not an easy, peasy thing. Okay, I just want to paint that. Just so you don't think you are doing the wrong thing when you are making losses. Now, we all go through that same uh, diff, uh, diff problem too. So now let's go back to the chart. So what I'm looking at for now, you can see price already getting back to this zone. I am marked out. This is a signal power. I see some people already drop. We are, we are close to 1,000 uh, live live stream before 1,000 uh, people are streaming us. Now we have dropped 874. So about 130 people dropped out along the way. So now this is a signal for you guys. I know this is one of the most interesting part of where most people are joining us. When my price gets to this point, you want to look to go short. Why did I say so? Why, 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 why should we go short at that point? Now here's it. Price, this is 1.22500, 1.22500. 1 so whenever price gets here, there will be a likelihood of um, rejection. But I'm not, not going to trade, you know, I'm not trading. For those who will be trading on Monday, this signal is for you. But I know you, Jeff, Jeff, give a signal, Jeff, give a signal. So this is it. So, and your stop should be somewhere around here. 
Okay? Should we, your stock should be somewhere around here, but you've got to wait. You've got to wait for price to touch back at this blue line, 1.22500. So once price gets to that point, then you go short on that. So your stop, make sure you always use your stop. Because if you don't use your stop, it's just like someone who is risking the whole of account to just catch a, a piece of cookie. So you don't want that. <laughs> you're risking everything. You're risking your life to, 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 to catch just one small piece of cookie. So you don't want to do that. So you want to know what you are always risking at each particular time and know what you are risking for. That is your target, your reward. So if you are risking this, this is a 17 pip stop loss trade. Okay, if you hop in at this point, if you get in very nicely and then you should be cashing out about 50 pips, 50 pips in your favor, okay? So that's it. That's how to keep the fire pip in, trust me. Each time, because this is also a double top. Just check this out. Double top is happening. Remember, we don't play with double tops on GPPRZ. And the next one is going to come somewhere around here. So it's price is going to slash up. So once price slashes up, dang, at this point, you're going to hop on at this point. Then you ride it to the downside somewhere around here. Okay. So that's what you should be looking out for. So mark this level. So next week, Monday, I'm going to talk about this level. Okay. Uh, G for sale for sure. Someone just confirming that to the truth told. Yes. That's what we are looking out for. That's what we are looking out for. GU for sale. <laughs> uh, okay, someone is talking about profem. How much do I need to get profem in Naira, please? It depends. Just go. To, these are simple things that you have to go to their website to confirm. Go to their website, do the Naira equivalency, and then you get. These are simple things you should do. Just imagine. I'm I'm trying to convert. I'm imagine. I'm trying really hard to convert. Uh, how much you need to get profem for everybody's currency? I'll do that in India in rupees, in rands, in naira, in, in CDs, and all, all these crazy currencies that you may have all around the world. I mean, you cannot do that for yourself, OK? OK, now, someone is asking, this is SA Levi, Levi, OK? You say, what specifically do we test? Test as in what? Now, if you're talking about what specifically do you test while, while trying to find a strategy for yourself, is, 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 is it depends. For me, I would say you should test whether or not the strategy has an edge. Like, would this strategy, these are questions you want to ask yourself. Would this strategy be able to last for the next 10 years, five years? Will it be still be relevant? How do you know that? Like, you need strategy that will be able to tell you when to change perspective. When you change perspectives. Like, in terms of news, in terms of, you have to test that. So, whenever you're back testing, here's another idea that I also do. Whenever you're back testing, roll back your, my, uh, your Forex factory, your news calendar, really back. Check what happened. How did your strategy strive when there was news? When it was FOMC, when it was non farm payroll, when it was CPI news on GBP, uh, on, on USD, and all these things. Check the strategy I'm currently using. How do they behave in time of fundamental news release? Okay. So that would likely tell you how well you'll be able to sustain that move long run. Okay. So that could tell, that goes a long way in telling what's going to happen. Okay. <clears throat> so these are the things that <clears throat> you have to put into consideration. So I also see, I also see someone. Someone is asking, okay, this is a very fear of courage. Jeff, please, I don't trust Strader Central enough. Do you trust them? Okay, now here's a very fantastic question. Yes, I, I trust them. Now, the reason why I probably do not trust them, before I give you my, 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 the reason why I say I trust them is some have a problem purchasing an account of $100,000 or $200,000, trading it, uh, and then they don't get funded. That's because the hundred thousand dollars and two hundred thousand dollars has a risk review, which most people don't know. So some people have really bashed them in the time past that. That's a hearing rule that they didn't make public, and obviously it's actually in, in their frequently asked question in the website. Just that people don't really uh, have enough time to want to sit down to read their FAQ and before taking the challenge. So they just take the challenge, assuming that, assuming in their mind, they assume in their minds that their rule is probably similar to every other prop firms. Okay, so. What work with Profem A should work with Trader Central, and it's not true. So you have to really take time and read their rules. So if you're trading an account ranging from five thousand dollars to fifty thousand dollars, you don't have to go through this uh, risk review. What risk review simply means after you've passed your challenge, they don't just give you life funding. A human being, one of their worker, has to go through one at a time after the other, another the trades you've taken during those trading period to see if you were consistent with their trading rules. Okay, so if you don't want problem with that, if you don't want their consistency rule, so do not even try going with the 
uh, their yeah, 100k and 200k so if you must do the 100k and 200k try check other plans they have other plans it's not just the evaluation model they have the instant funding model they have every other one so you just check it out all right and they also have the new uh havana okay you have to play it's a, like a game that you have to play havana in the website so you click the link in the description box to check how that works out so i just trust them because they are pretty transparent with whatsoever they are doing and they have the cheapest plan which is five thousand dollars proprietary firm i know any other industry uh leading prop firm apart from them that is offering that so this actually give an edge to those who are really struggling struggling new traders struggling traders if you don't have enough money you can just use that purchase and start your life with that for now i mean so that's why i'm really supporting i'm trying to push them out there so you guys can see opportunities are available with these guys okay so uh Okay, now here's another thing. So this is from Umbama things. Said so Jeffrey Benson, is it a must to get account blown before one can be profitable? No, it's not a must. It's not a must. But what people always tell you that they blew several accounts before, before they come profitable is, is what they went through. It's their own story of the is their own is their own life story. Like me, I blew several accounts. So uh, but people will tell you that it's almost impossible for you not to for it to become profitable without blowing out, which is almost true, which is almost true, but you can. I mean, I'm only saying that you can be profitable without blowing account on a premise that there is nothing that is impossible. Okay, there's nothing that is impossible. But it's less likely you would definitely lose accounts, one or two or three, or even or five, if not more than. Yes, for me, I've lost several accounts. I can't count. Lots, lots, lots. Okay, <laughs> but you can be profitable without blowing accounts. It's possible. Um, thank you very much, FWS trading. He said, Jeff, keep it up. Uh, Niger goods. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, someone is asking a funny question again. Jeffrey Benson, can I use GT bank card to make payment for MFF? Of course, you know your country's laws. Your CBN will not let you to make payment more than $20 off of your debit card. So it's not advisable. So if you must make payment with your card, make sure you go get a domiciliary MasterCard, like open a domiciliary account. I think it's free. Approach your bank. A bank officer tell them to open a dollar card for you uh, a domiciliary account and then they're going to give you a dollar card then you can use that to shop unlimited online do anything you want okay amazing question i love this mm, ask this question say hello jeff how do you journal your trades what are the things you write down in your in your in your book good these are for people in my in my mentorship i i, I love to carry them in on that long because i know these are the things that really make you profitable in the long term journaling trades things that should be in your journal trades the time you got in on the trade, what patterns, things you saw that make it to get in on the trade, the things you saw, okay? And you also have to journal whether it was a win, winning trade or a losing trade after the trade has played out. And the fourth thing is how you were behaving, your thinking process while you were on the trade, how the emotion. Were you so excited? Were you scared? Were you emotional? Were you, oh, I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done those things. Those are things you should journal down, okay? Uh, nice, nice, nice. So, so Abu Peter is saying, boss, I deposit money with excellence and it's not showing in my excellence account to trade life. What should I do? You have to contact their supporter. First, how long did you do it? And what means did you use in depositing the money? What means? So you have to write that down. Okay. So if, if you are, if you have that written down, uh, you can then message the support, message the support and lodge your complaint. But I think it should reflect. It's almost instant. At my end, what I've been doing, it's almost instant. Okay. Uh, do you wait for double top to break? Do you wait for double tops to break neckline before making your entries? No, 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 no. Whenever I just see multiple week rejection getting close to my entry point, I just get in now. That's my sniper entry. So if you are a newbie, you're just coming in here, you want to wait for all this confirmation. But I know you can do that, I definitely would move in my direction. I just, if I see them, now I'm not saying, at, I'm not talking from the point of, oh, I know it all now. No, I'm talking from a point of uh, the number of time I've spent experience that I've spent on the chart. Okay. Sometime ago, you said trade, sometime ago, you said your trade copy had messed you up when closing your position. Tell us what happened for learning purpose. So what happened there was whenever I click buy on the master account, it get duplicated twice on the slave account. And that was draining the account faster. So if I'm on a loss of about 1%, I mean, I'll be on a loss of 2%, which is what I don't want because I have lost limits on all these accounts. So that messed up the other slave account. So you wouldn't want to have that. So you have to make sure you cross-check your trade copy. So the trade copy that I always recommend is duplicium.com. So I made a video about that in my YouTube channel. Let me just share, let me share, let me share the website, duplicium.com. Now they recently changed their name. 
So that's why I would need to want to share uh, a, a screen of how that looks like. Here's it. So it, this is the name Duplicium. Just come now the name the URL is trade dash So if you want to check it, if you want to check it out, it's really a very nice uh, stuff. This is your cockpit where you get to do your trade copy. So I've been using this for a long while now. It doesn't give me an issue. It doesn't does not give me an issue. So I have a closed investor, enclosed investors list that I copy my master trades to them. Okay. Starting from hundred thousand dollars only. So this is where I just do everything. So it has not given me issue so far. So good. All right. So in as much as I, I talk about investor, that doesn't mean I'm going to message you first asking for investment. No, I'm not going to message you. <laughs> they message me first, and I know how I find them. I find them. Okay. So that's that. And that's so Paul, don't allow anyone to message you trying to tell you that oh I'm Jeff Benson. I'm collecting investment. No, I will never message you first. Investors that are really ready, they message me first. So I will message you so that. That will not bring in scammy activity or stuff like that. So just get, be guided. Jeffrey Benson, uh, Jeffrey Benson. Okay, let's bring him. Victor, how you doing? Victor, can you hear us? His camera is frozen again. So for some reason, he's coming and going. I'm sure that it's his network that is really messing things up. So this uh, is okay. Victor, can you hear us clearly now? Victor, your camera is freezing again. And if you can hear me clearly, please just kindly drop your Instagram. People want to follow you. A lot of people here, they really want to follow you on Instagram. Drop your Instagram handle in the comment section, then I'll, 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 I'll pin it to the screen so that you can see it and then you'll follow. So that's that on that. Okay, amazing. How many trades do you have open? It depends, it depends. This is another funny question. Jeffrey, how much do you trust Excess Broker? Okay, from the reviews I'm getting online, that we've, I've, I've tested everyone on Trustpilot. I've checked, it, I've checked them out on many review sites. Excess is a very decent broker, trust me. Just because I'm working with them, they are decent, they are regulated. So for them to be regulated by uh, FCA, regulated by in the seashells, regulated, regulated in uh, Wales, Wales, help me out. There are other companies like, uh, is it seashells? Mauritius or some, some there's one, is it uh, Cyprus, for them to be related in Cyprus. So I think it's a good, it's a, it's a good way to, to go. Like they are trusted to a very large extent. So they've not run away with my, my crazy money I've deposited. They always make, I always make a draw from my experience, this is me talking. So I, I mean, it's pretty much safe. They are well trusted, trusted. So it's trusted. Excellence Infinox, they are both trusted. So I've, these are the companies that I know I've deposited a crazy amount of money with. I, it reflects really fast. And then I also make withdrawal. Everything reflects really fast. So I can decide to make withdrawal in dollars, in euros, in my local currency, any one of them. Um, anyone, they all work, any pounds. Uh, huh. This is the last question I'm going to be taking for this purpose of this live session. He said, hi, Jeff. What's the solution to fear of missing now? That's FOMO. When you're experiencing FOMO, fear of missing now, you have to know that this market is not running away anytime soon, okay? Even if you miss this opportunity right now that is about to show this drop opportunity that I just called out, just know that market will always come back to that same point that I said, okay, whenever I get here, it will always come back there and even surpass. So always with chill out. If you are seeing a particular pattern that you see it's already moved past your likelihood of entry, don't just get in. Stop trading and just close your laptop as a den and just walk away. So that's one thing that I, I that's one way I always uh, I always use in <clears throat> in clean out that part. So I hope you guys love this live stream as much as I love putting that out there. And please kindly subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and also hit the like button so that this video can be widespread to as many people that need to see this right now. So thank you guys for for coming on to check out this channel today. And please take me to 70k. I want to be a 70k subscriber and 100k before this year runs out. Hopefully, or fingers crossed. And you guys have been bringing me this far. I respect you guys and I love you guys. And I'll keep dropping content. So expect more creative content this week from me. My live trading sessions, what I'm going to be trading, and uh, more trade signals. I know people love signals, and you want to see what I'm trading so that you guys can as well make money alongside as I'm making money. So use the link in the description box and the link in the comment section, any one of them that you see first, to join our Telegram and our Instagram and follow my Instagram story so you can get to see 
my day-to-day -day trades. Okay, I'm keeping it real, keeping it simple. If I make losses, you make losses. If I make wins, and you make wins. And obviously, you know, I always make more of wins. Okay, you know, you know. All right, keep it locked in, guys. See you guys in the next video, and I also see you guys in the Telegram channel. I want to see you guys there. And most importantly, I also want to see you guys in the mentorship. So let me just talk a little bit. I almost forgot talking about the mentorship. So also mentor, mentoring is one thing I, I found that I could actually use in helping our community, which started on 2021. Uh, 2021 is yes, last year. I just started 2021, October. So I have a group where I mentor people, which is firepipsfs.com. So, and if you want to be a free member, it's obviously welcome. So you can join our free group to start learning for free right now. So let me drop this link too, so you can start learning. And you can just click on this link right now if you are newbie to Forex. You don't want to what Forex is. I mean, this link is just going to teach you what exactly what Forex is from A to Z. Okay. So this is something that you don't want to miss out on. And also, if you want to be a part of our mentorship, it's pretty simple. Just come on our website, firepipsfs.com, and click on our mentorship. So $3.99 for a yearly plan, which is what is most popular. Most people are going for this yearly plan. What $9 is for monthly. So here, what, what, would, what, what would be the things you'll be seeing? What would, the thing, what, would, what would you be getting? If you're in any of these two plans, it's the exact same thing that you'll be getting. Just that if you pay $9, that's for, it's going to be for the monthly. Why $3.99 is going to be for yearly. So... Obviously, the amount you're supposed to pay for four months on you know, the monthly, you pay that once and then you get full access to year program, uh, a year program. So that is, you're going to be having a free access for six months if you pay what you're supposed to be paying for monthly, monthly, monthly for four months time, just once. All right. So I also have the free plan. That's for those who are just starting out. You can start learning from there. It's okay. So with that, you're going to be getting access to my pre, uh, uh, WhatsApp. I'm going to be chatting you there. You're also going to be getting access to my live trade. As I'm sending signals to the Telegram, in fact, we'll be the one sending the signal to the Telegram channel. We'll be doing that together because we're going to be trading together on Wednesdays and on Fridays. You'll see my trade, my, my life account. As I'm making profit, I'm, as I'm making losses, you're going to be seeing everything. Um, you're also going to get access to our live recordings. So all these recordings that we do, as I'm trading with you live on, on, on Zoom call, by the Zoom, you're also going to be recording and we're going to upload that recording on this same website so if you want to have access to this recording it's pretty simple come to courses and on the courses then you can click on any of this live recording yeah you're going to have access can you see all this recording we have ever had all the recording we've ever had these are friday sessions these are wednesday sessions so everything is live here all the bloopers everything is well recorded for your success so you can follow all these things and you become successful so if you can watch this video trust me from experience and from data, we have more than more than 90% coming on our mentorship becoming successful in a matter of three months. So these are things that you have to plan out. In a matter of three months, they become successful in trading, like getting it right, getting it right, the right way, getting it the right way in three months. So you can set your mind, okay, in three to six months, I should be able to get this whole uh, thing properly, all right? So these are the things that you have to just do. So finally, Victor dropped his... Uh, is IG please kindly follow him up on IG. So I'm gonna pin that to the group um to the to the screen right here. So this is Victor's IG is Victor underscore Ogona. So kindly follow him right there on his Instagram. All right. So thank you guys for sticking around. I'll see you guys in the mentorship. See you guys in the free telegram channel. I'm gonna be sending you the trade. So whether or not you join our free stuff, I'm still gonna be sending it all to you. So Victor, do you have one more thing to say? I just see you just join us. Do you have anything to say? A, a sign out word. All right. Victor. No, um, the, um, I'll just I'll just say um for me for me what I learned last week was strategy is not everything. You need to be patient, that's it. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Thank the, you very much. Thank you very much, Victor. So strategy is not everything, you have to be patient. That's the psychological part. All right, so bye guys, bye guys. Keep the fire peeping and make sure you guys return back to the same channel next week, same time. Bye.